This is question 9, P5, OCR Gateway Physics and also OCR Gateway Further Additional Science. Danny shines a ray of light from a box, from a ray box through a glass block. The light is refracted, so this is a question on what you know on refraction. He looks at the path of the light leaving the block. Now let me just make sure you understand what you can see here. You can see that this is the ray of light inside some glass. This is an imaginary line which is called a normal, always at right angles to a surface, to a boundary we say, right angle. Uh, and this is the refracted ray here. So this is called the incident ray, refracted ray. You can tell that because of the direction of the arrows. This we call the angle of incidence between the ray and the normal. This we call the angle of refraction between the normal and the refracted ray. And here you can see the angle of incidence is actually less than the angle of refraction. Now, you're asked to explain what causes the ray of light to bend the way it does at the boundary. So why does the angle of incidence, why does the angle of refraction increase? We say it's bending away from the normal, if you like. So think about what you know about refraction. It's a two mark question. So have a little go at trying to explain that. Well, it's actually about the relative speed. So I'm going to quickly just give you a kind of written answer. I'm going to tell you that the speed of the light increases increases as it leaves the glass. That's why refraction happens, because the wave is a different speed in the different mediums, i.e. the glass or the air. And because of that, it refracts away from the normal. So it bends away from the normal. Or you could explain this in the way that I did initially, that the angle of refraction is larger than the angle of incidence. Now, I know that students struggle to kind of visualize why this is, so I'm gonna just go back and show you that on the diagram the way we like to explain that. Because it's quite slow here inside the blocks, the rays are all quite bunched up. So the wavelength's quite small. Now, when it leaves the block, you can see that the left-hand side of it, if you were going in the direction of it, the left-hand side leaves first. So this hand, this part here, is actually going faster than this part of the wave here. So actually what that does is it causes the wave to turn. Let's draw another one on. So this side is still going slowly inside the block. This one is faster outside the block. Slowly, faster, slow, fast. Now all the ones that are going faster means that the wavelength has increased. And that has caused the wave to kind of turn that corner. A difficult thing to get your head around and I'm sure probably you've heard the analogy it's a bit like a car traveling in some mud and going onto a road the car's wheel one wheel speeds up before the other wheel so that causes the car to turn now that will be a useful thing to understand because you need to show that you can link speed the speed the wave is going to the amount of refraction that it will do in the next part of this question So here we have the situation of dispersion of light into the visible spectrum, into the rainbow. You probably have done this experiment in class at some point. You take white light and it splits into the visible spectrum. 
the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet visible spectrum. In addition to refraction, light is dispersed when it travels from one medium to another. Is that word I used, dispersed. Why is it dispersed? Well, it's dispersed because the different colours have different wavelengths, therefore different refractive indexes. Refractive index just says, how much is it refracted? And you can see the blue light has been refracted more at the two boundaries than the red light. Now remember I've said to you already that you need in this question to show you understand that's because they travel different speeds. More refraction is more difference in speed. So think to yourself before you answer this question, which one do you think travels faster inside the glass? The diagram shows that different colours refract by different amounts. Use the information in the table to explain why. So two marks. Have a little think about what I've told you and have a little think about what I told you to remember from the first one and try and write two clear statements to pick up the two marks. OK, so welcome back. The first statement for me is probably going to mean the blue has a higher refractive index, therefore does more refraction. So it refracts more. turns more. Yeah, you don't need to put this word in, but I think it makes it a bit clearer to you. And why is this? Well, this is because blue actually travels faster inside the glass. And now, if something it's travelling faster inside the glass, means there's a greater change in speed as it goes from air to the glass and then subsequently from glass to the air. And so therefore it turns more, it refracts more than the red and than the other colours as well. So that's why the light splits up into those seven different colours of the rainbow that we know. OK, let's go on to the next one.